Since we thwarted their invasion, we haven't seen any major offensive operation by the enemy for several weeks. Almost like we're at peace again, eh, people? Anyway, let's start the briefing. Yuktobanian combat operations have been dormant since their failed large-scale invasion and the loss of their underwater carrier, Synfaxi. However, there is still concern over a possible infiltration by small-scale forces from the ground and the air. You will split into flights of two and carry out patrols in the area from Akerson Hill to the northern coastline. The airspace above the grain fields extending around Akerson is covered by our Ocean AA system. The system automatically fires missiles at any hostile aircraft it detects. Patrol the northern coastline of Akerson Hill, which is out of our AA system's range. Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? Are we launching in this formation? War Dog, launch! That stupid geezer base commander just won't give us a break, will he? He's relying on us, First Lieutenant Chopper. Hey, congratulations on your promotion, by the way. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any better. Hey, you two. What's your current position? 300 miles south of you. Roger. Damaged, but the damage is light. Transmitting aircraft. State your assignment and current status. Guide the transport plane through the AA system's radar coverage and take it to Akerson Hill. The transport is on a top secret mission, so its ID signal has not been registered in the AA system's database. As a result, if the transport is picked up by the AA system, it may be shot down by our own missile fire. The engagement zone of this ground-based AA system is displayed on your radar. Due to combat damage, the transport's radar system is inoperable and its maneuverability restricted. Guide the plane so it stays out of the AA system's engagement zone. Uh, the Air Defense Command just received multiple radar hits on an enemy formation closing on your position. First bad guys we've seen crossing the pond for a while. Warning alarms are going off like mad, but we're the only ones near enough to intercept them in time. Hold on, baby. We're coming to your rescue. Understood. I'm counting on you two. Blaze, can you see the transport craft? Roger. Keep your eyes on it. Okay, I've got him on my radar. Just like the intelligence said. The radio's picking up the enemy's voice. These guys sound as beautiful as Thunderhead. Sweet as a rose, I tell ya. Don't let up just because it's a transport plane. If we take out this guy, they won't just give us a medal. They'll build a statue in our honor. This cargo's certainly worth that much. Is that the enemy speaking? What are these guys talking about? Don't worry about that. We need your escort. We're completely defenseless. 
Well now, this is turning out to be a weird little race against the enemy. Mother Goose One, any problems on your end? No problems, but we'd like to get out of this airspace ASAP. Please fly a course that avoids the AA system. an Air Force fighter pilot. Can you see us? Roger, please show us the way. Mother Goose One, push to radio frequency 136 megahertz. Roger, switching. My plane's damaged, so I can't put undue stress on the airframe. As much as you can, try to fly in a straight line for me. The skies over our own country could be so unfriendly. One, we've successfully navigated through the AA system. Thank you. However, I'd like to ask for your continued escort. Enemy spotted on radar. Coming head on. Chopper team has arrived. Hey, kid. We're under your command now. Mother Goose One, we'll take care of him. Please separate at maximum speed. Please. I'm counting on you. Mother Goose One, don't panic. We'll protect you no matter what. Additional enemy targets on radar. Mother Goose One, please keep your current vector. Roger. Roger. 
Damn it! Your speed's decreasing. What's the matter? Mechanical trouble. I'm losing thrust on engine one. Hey! I see escort fighters! I thought there weren't gonna be any escorts. Chopper engaging. Archer, engaging! One five, missile behind you! Phew! I dodged it! Okay, I'm protecting this transport plane no matter what. Hey, hey, get back in your seat. Don't approach the... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> hey, it's Dutch rolling! Um, this is a transport plane. Uh, the mother goes one. The captain's been shot. What? There was a spy in the crew. Two of the engines are shut down. Hey, what kind of cargo you got in there? Is it something dangerous? Hey, you there? The captain's dead and the co-pilot was wounded by a straight bullet. Tommy's holding a stick now, but he's just a secretary. He's never piloted a plane before. So who are you? I... I guess you would call me... the cargo on this plane. But could you tell me how to control this thing? I'll relay everything to it. Lower your altitude. Prepare for emergency landing. Put your flaps down. That'll lower your airspeed. Can you find your flap lever? Flap lever, eh? Is that it? No, that one, Tom. Pull that one. We can't go on! Let's pull out. <laughs> An emergency landing? The ground's full of electric generator windmills! Roger! Could you shoot those down for us? Let's do it. What? We've got no other choice. Okay, let's do it. Are you still there, ma'am? With a lovely voice? Uh, miss... First Lieutenant K. Nagase. Sir. Ah. Uh, and a lovely name as well. And I'm Chopper! That's a good name too. I like you, man! Tommy's going to try landing now. He's doing his best, but he's never done this before. I, I don't know if we'll make it, so I just want to thank you before we go. You'll be okay. Yes, you'll do fine. Tommy, those broken windows will be our guideposts. This is going to be difficult. I have to aim carefully. These windmills are huge, but they're still a hard target from up here. This job's starting to wear me out a little. They're going to be in for a pretty hard landing. Almost there. You're doing great, Tom. Those pilots ought to recruit you. Up. I don't think the transport plane's gonna wait for us. Hey kid, don't give yourself a headache aiming at every single one. Altitude 100 feet. Almost there, I think. Mother Goose 1, just keep going. That's a pretty good runway there. A fine place for a landing. That's a pretty good emergency landing, I'd say. Transport plane is ready for an emergency landing. Mother Goose 1, landing confirmed. Possible. 
Thanks to the bird, we're on even terms now. I'm trying to get to North Point, because I believe we have a chance. To hold talks in neutral territory. Right. Communication is vital. So I can still believe in you, then. I don't want to see any more young men or women lose their lives. Me neither. Uh-oh. I'm out of fuel. This is the Ocean Air Force 8492nd Squadron. We observed the emergency landing on our radar. Can you see us? You can leave the rest to us. We'll provide support until the transport plane's crew is rescued. Roger, 8492nd. Take care of them for us. Here, I think. We've received a sitrep from Central Command. The crew on board the transport plane you encountered during your patrol has been rescued by the 8492nd Squadron. That is currently all the information we have. After my article, The Four Wings of Sand Island, was published to wide acclaim, I grew bolder. Here was a profile view of the base commander, the emperor of this base. Delt. He's in a bad mood today. If he catches you, he'll have your head. What happened? The Ark Bird. Huh? The white bird in outer space, with Yuktabania outclassing us in firepower. It was the President's one trump card in the peace negotiations. And now, it's fallen right out of our hands. So you're saying we don't know how long the war will drag on? The Ark Bird. A superweapon capable of attacking from space, far beyond the reach of the enemy. Its power generator was destroyed by explosives planted inside a supply shipment launched from Earth. Once again, the balance of power had tipped toward Yuktabania. <laughs> 